After a historic Thursday in Louisville where Brianna's law was passed, banning LMPD from using no-knock warrants, protesters took to the streets near Metro Hall on Friday wanting more. Hundreds gathered around 5th and Jefferson Street where they blocked off the intersection. Their demands included terminating and arresting the three officers involved in Breonna Taylor's death. He started hearing things, seeing things, asking questions. <laughs> and I had to, had to grow up myself real fast and try to come up with some answers. Chris Lopez and his seven-year-old son have been peacefully protesting for nearly two weeks. He needs a better world than what's going on now and we're making it worse all the time instead of doing anything to make it better. Hundreds then marched to King Solomon Missionary Baptist Church on Anderson Street. It's where Mayor Fisher was speaking to those in the community about moving forward. He got out of Dodge, but see, the thing is, he's gonna know that they was here. See, he keeps dodging them. He, he, he don't wanna address the issue, but see, he, you can only run so far. Pastor Milton Seymour says he was there. He says seeing the hundreds outside the California Neighborhood Church sends a strong message. But when the young people came, that just lit my fire all over again because I've been marching with them and I understand, I get it. I know what they're fighting for. They don't want this swept under the rug. It's that same passion that has had protesters taking to the streets for more than two weeks and counting until they say justice is served properly. We want people to be treated fairly and to be treated like people. <laughs> it's 2020 and we're still fighting for people to be treated like people.